Hi everyone. Basically, the first thing I'd like to say is, the void in Doctor Who could represent hell, because it, cause it's a nowhere place. But at the same time, it couldn't, because there is there is stuff in hell, such as Satan, Satan himself, and loads of fire and furnaces. Whereas in the voids, there's literally supposed to be nothing. But anyway, I want to check out real quick this Preacher trailer. See this guy wearing a red hat for Satan? He could represent the Antichrist. Because in a minute, you'll see him ask this guy to hurt his father. See, he's played by Dominic Cooper, this preacher guy. And he hurts people. Dominic Cooper is the same person who plays Howard Stark in Agent Carter. And he's, um, and he's also in Captain America, the first Avenger. So he's Tony Stark's dad, basically. It's about my dad. This is this represents the same thing as Daredevil, basically. A religious man hurting people. People said before you were a preacher, you did things. How hurt you want to see how this uh chapel or whatever it is actually looks like an Illuminati pyramid. See here, it says King. <clears throat> Just like this guy is the King of the Illuminati. And see that he's got a, a bow tie on. Well, this guy's got a bow tie on as well, so this guy could represent that clown. So, things escalate and violence happen. happens. Just like what happens in Gotham. And just like what is happening in real life. See, things happen in another plane again. Just like 9-11 was to do with a plane crashing into the towers. And just like the plane scene on, in The Dark Knight Rises. And just like... There's at least one plane in that new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows movie. Makes violence. Makes nothing much at all. Preacher! Makes nothing much at all. See, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Makes nothing much at all. See this guy jumping out of the plane? Just like the turtles jump out of the plane, remember? Preacher! Enough! Almost done, Sheriff. <laughs> Tell what you want, kid. See, the Preacher logo is underneath this chapel thing. Represents him being underneath the burdens of Egypt. Because this chapel thing represents Egypt because it looks like a pyramid. The preacher logo is, is even red for Satan. And in the background it looks like there's like fire and stuff. Representing like nukes going off. And the fire in hell. 
Jesus, what kind of a preacher are you? <laughs> and then that guy just did a laugh then, just like clowns are known to laugh. <clears throat> so anyway, Dominic Cooper. Just like this guy, it's called Dominic Wood. Wood. Just like Daisy Wood Davis. Also, see the D in Daisy, and the D in Davis, and the D in Dominic. Remember this Frank Castle guy in Daredevil? Basically the Punisher, he's called. Well, he's a fighter. Just like Frank Bruno is a fighter. Two Franks who are fighters. This F represents fighters, but it also represents the fifth age. So his last name is Bruno. Just like this guy who's really come down since first name is Bruno. Right, here we go, guys. All I did was type in Strictly Come Dancing 5 score, and this came up as the first image. I wasn't even searching for this, guys. I just found it accidentally. Right. See, this This Craig guy has got a 5 for representing the 5th age. And then, of course, you see here, 666. Six, six. Basically, 666. Six, six is the number of, like, Satan and the Antichrist. It's just like in Britain, 999, turn it upside down, it becomes 666. Remember this Warcraft movie? The blue for Jesus and God and the light, and the red for Satan. Well, this Dominic Cooper guy is in this Warcraft movie as well. Represents the same thing as uh, Captain America's Civil War with Iron Man Satan versus Jesus Christ Captain America. Well, see the uh, red for Satan and the blue for Jesus Christ. The red for Satan, the blue for Jesus Christ. So, this guy is a homosexual. He's called um, Craig Revel Horwood. He's one of the judges on this Strictly Come Dancing thing. So, he's called, he's called Craig and he's a homosexual. Just like this guy is called Craig. And he's also a homosexual. He's called Craig Dean. So it's almost like they use this Craig name to represent homosexuals. So, like, <clears throat> even this Stee Hay character in the Hollyoaks, he's, he's also a homosexual. So... <clears throat> But, uh, just like this guy's called Stephen as well. So, basically, right, let me explain this. It's quite complicated to explain. He is called Stephen, but everybody on the show calls him Steve for sure. Now, this character in Doctor Who is also called Stephen. And it's because, on Hollyoaks, these people called Sam and Danny, these characters called Sam and Danny, they named their children after Doctor Who characters. So, basically, right, Stee is named after him. But, Stee is not Sam's biological son. He is just Danny's biological son. 
So, by the way, this um, Dodo actress, Jackie Lane, um, she gets a lot of bad press. Like, some people call her one of the worst companions ever. But she's actually one of my favourite companions, to be honest, because I, re I reckon she's got a fun personality, and I reckon she's quite sexy as well. See these circles on her? They represent the will of the Great Tribulation. And this robot right here re represents the Transformers, the robots in iRobot, the droids in Star Wars, etc., etc. Even this thing on the robot's head represents the will of the Great Tribulation. So anyway, right? S see, let's look at these stripes um, on his shirt. See the white for heaven and the black for the darkness. Just like... We show as we showed before on that Michael guy's shirt um, from Angry Grandpa, and um, basically, even though this character Stephen is not homosexual, he was always portrayed as uh, as quite camp. Um, this is nothing nothing against Peter Purvis, by the way, because I think he's a fantastic actor. A fantastic actor because um, he's one of my favorite companions but I think that they unfairly made him appear camp even though he didn't want to be I have nothing I have nothing against homosexuals by the way I'm just I'm just saying what the Illuminati put in front of us all of the time and it's not just the Illuminati some of it is spiritually done by God and Jesus But, yeah, I, I'm straight anyway, so this is kind of straying off the point a bit, but anyway. Um, so, let's take a look at this mini Cravings, the Laughing Cow advert. Even this Laughing Cow represents the same thing as the Red Bull on, in your, on your Red Bull drinks. And it even represents the same thing as a Minotaur as well. See the red for Satan on, the, on this Laughing Cow? See, she's wearing blue for Jesus and God of the light. I know this may look white to some people, but it's actually light blue. Remember how uh, Mia Vasikowska in Stoker was wearing light blue. So this probably represents your Lamb of God or your Woman of the Bible. See, she's got brunette hair. See, this woman behind her has even got blonde hair. So she could, she could represent the same person as her. And then... We have a basket right here. Remember the woman in the basket thing? It's 5.45. And then you see the blue for Jesus and God and the light. And the red and yellow for Satan. Remember Iron Man's armor is made up of red and yellow. See all of this green for Islam. And then you see the two doors. Representing the door that you have to go through with Jesus Christ to get into heaven. The doors are blue for a reason, because they represent Jesus and God and the light. These windows in the background represent like the looking glass windows. Window, I should say. Just like my friend is called Robert Windows. And see all of this purple, just like the purple, the purple with regards to cab rays. You mini cravings from the laughing cow. Feed your mini craving. And again, the green for Islam. This probably represents the hand of God, or the hand of the woman of the Bible. And then, when that blue exploded, then that represents grace and mercy being taken away. 